Welcome back. This is lesson 18.3. In the previous two lessons, we've looked at the process of translating software from, machine, uh, from a high level language into machine code. And this is the last in the series where we look at the use of code libraries. So three topics which I'm going to go through quite rapidly, libraries, linkers and loaders, and you'll find out all about those in this lesson. So remember, you've written a program, you've compiled it. That means you've ended up with an executable file of machine code instructions. Now you want to run your program. Most high level languages have a compilation library, which you'll get alongside when you download the language or when you uh, download the compiler. And that will be a lot of blocks of ready-made machine code that can be added to your executable file. Uh, sometimes that's for standard instructions that are part of the language, such as print. And so the, all the instructions about accessing uh, the output device, such as the screen, and sending the result to that will be ready built in. It doesn't have to, the compiler doesn't have to invent that machine code afresh every time and uh, you may also have imported a module or two in python we often import the random module but there's a load of others and again the commands for that because they're going to be reused every time they're often stored in machine code form and just slotted in to place in your compiled exe file and this saves a lot of time so the Commands that are used a lot might be stored, the, the machine code for those commands might be stored in a compilation library and can just be fitted in to your program in the right location. Linking these blocks of code in is the job of some software called a linker. So we've got blocks of code that do useful tasks, which we want to use in our program, and the linker allows that to happen. It, we can do it in two ways. Um, static link, that basically means that the machine code is copied and pasted into your executable file. And a dynamic one, which it, there's a pointer to the library in your executable file. The, the advantage of that would be that if the program machine code changes in any way, your file will automatically update. And finally, let's say everything's gone smoothly. You've got a lovely executable file and now you want to run it. Then that's the job of the final bit of software that we're going to talk about in this topic. And the names, the clue is in the name. It's called a loader. It's part of the operating system, the basic system software of your computer. And it will load. If you if you tell a computer to run a program, the loader will take all that machine code and plonk it into RAM, point the program counter at the first line of the program and you and you're good to go. So that was a real quick lesson and these are not, you don't have to go into much more detail than what I've said today. A library, a compilation library is a set of blocks of ready-made machine code that might be useful in your programs. A linker is a piece of software that takes those blocks of code and puts them into the right place in your exe file. And the loader takes your exe file and puts it in RAM and starts it running, basically. Again, activities, apologies if you're not my student, but I've got uh, a quiz here. So it's called a translation quiz. It's on the Moodle. So and it should cover all the topics that we've talked about so far. OK, now that's the end of this short topic on translators. And I've now got a series of three lessons about the job and life of being a programmer and how programs are developed. So see you then. Bye for now.